Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. Today we're going to go back to 0910 between the pipes. We had a lot of fun with that a few days ago. Um, if you remember, we opened two boxes um, just about a week ago and we pulled a very cool one of one as well as some pretty nice memorabilia cards. Today we decided to jump right back to it. Certainty of finding boxes at a reasonable price is very low nowadays. As I said, it is probably the most loaded year of Between the Pipes. So I couldn't let uh, the rest of these slip away, so I bought them all. Uh, because we've already done the box breaks before, I'm going to kind of skim by the base cards. Otherwise, uh, we'll be here all day with the base cards. The Archer's Herbe Bobblehead of Judgment is excitedly waiting to see what will come out of our four boxes. Without further ado, Let's get ready for box breaking. I play poorly. Probably one of the worst goalies you'll ever see. You'll think Andre Rasico is a god next to me. Obviously he is. He made the NHL. I couldn't even get out of... Uh, <laughs> couldn't even pass a tryout as a kid, so... Yeah, alright. Uh, let's reorganize the boxes a little bit here. Perfect, all right. First pack. Oh, first pack is an all base pack. So we'll move on to the next. As I said, we're not going to read every single hit out again. Second pack is an all base pack. We are on a roll. Lots of all base packs. Another all base pack. Okay, we'll get the rare box in that every single hit is a base card. So these are the only packs where I'll be going through everything and we'll be saving the uh, autograph card for the very end of the, the stack. Okay, so we have Cedric Desjardins, JP Anderson, Mike McKenna, Josh Harding, Brian Hayward, Terry Sawchuk, and... Okay, mystery to me as well, so we have Martin Broder base, and under it, future stars of James Reed. Okay. Uh, Urbe's verdict. Nah, he didn't really mount to anything in the NHL level. Um, definitely a lot better names that can be pulled out of this product in terms of autographs. We continue with an all-base pass. On to our next. I believe this one is a memorabilia. We'll set that aside. If I'm mistaken, so be it. <laughs> Next pack is an all base pack. Wow. You don't really realize how many all base packs there are until you just focus on the hits and then you realize there's quite a few. Which means if you're one of those people back in the day who bought uh, by the pack, your odds of getting stuff was not the best. I think this one is another autograph pack. So we will see what we got. Okay, we'll go from the front again. Jacques Plante, Tim Thomas, Tuka Rask, Johan Backlund, have one of his blockers up on display in my kitchen, <laughs> Marco Cusino, Jonas Hiller, and Autograph. Just free it up. I haven't seen it yet. Mystery will be to me as well. Okay, we have Garrett Zumlak in the front and we have, greats of the game, Brian Hayward with the legendary goalie mask. He had to retire very early, I think he was only like 33 or 31, something like that, uh, because of recurring, uh, was it a back injury or a knee injury? There'll be a little caption up to, to <clears throat> explain that. But still, Brian Hayward, nice clean signature. Not, a leg not a, the greatest goalie of all time, obviously, but still. Urbe's verdict. Everybody proves these are all the goalies that I most appreciate from that uh, from that 1980s to mid 1990s era. That's when I loved hockey the most. So you'll find me a little biased, <laughs> even if I pull a non-superstar from from that uh, era. There. Uh, next pack is all base, all base pack. Oh, this is a memorabilia card. <clears throat> we'll put that here. I didn't see what the card was, so don't don't worry. The surprise will be there for, for me as well. Okay. Okay, we got an insert on this one. Let's work our way down. Michael Neuwirth, 
Peter Delmas, Mika Kippersov, Jonas Enro, <laughs> Louis Domingue, Georges Vesna, and we have Masked Men underneath the Thomas Okun of. What the hell is that? Chris Carozzi. Yeah. N nice mask. That's, uh, that's my comment for that one. Urbe's verdict. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to explain it. Alright, next. Okay, I got an insert in this one. Don McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Jerry Cheevers. Matt Hackett. Mike Broder. Jacob Markstrom. Marc Andre Fleury. James Reimer. And just a regular insert uh, ITG tribute. Martin Broder. Remember back when this product was brand new? Uh, my dad and I got a full case of it and built pretty much an entire master set from it. It was so much fun. So, this product. Uh, Definitely takes me back to a fun time. Um, old base pack. On to the next. <coughs> Possibly memorabilia. <laughs> we might be wrong about at least one of them there, so... Yeah. Okay. The next pack is... You guessed it. All base. We have a hit in this one. Roberto Luongo, Calvin Pickard, Antoine Tardif, Ilya Brzgialov, Daniel Larson, Cristobal Uwe from France, and underneath a Richard Broder we have a Masked Man gold version out of 10 of, well, that's pretty cool, Peter Menino. Not the best goalie, but damn, that's a nice goalie mask. Love that Atlanta Thrashers third logo on there. Wow. That's pretty cool. But yeah, gold version, numbered out of 10. Urbe's verdict. Yeah, the gold version masks are pretty pretty sweet. I'm not gonna complain. Well, let's go with that short sure, cookie butter player, but still, it's a gold version, and it's a sick, sick looking mask. Love to add that just to the goalie museum, the mask itself. Uh, next pack, all base. And next pack. We do have an insert in this. Uh, Leyland Irving, Ryan Miller, Darcy Kemper. That's what I love about these products. At the time, there was a future star. Some of these guys made it, some didn't. Same thing here, Jake Allen. Jean-Sébastien Giguet. Gilles Vermeer with probably the most terrifying goalie mask. Still haunts my dreams. <laughs> Alan Bester. And we have Between the Pipes Net Brawlers. Yoni Herme and Felix Potvin. Them's fighting words. All right. Let's get down to the hits. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna try and keep the excitement as long as possible. Good. Move the memorabilia always to the back. Um, there. I'll clear out the other base cards out of the way. So we'll have... Uh, oh, okay. So we have behind a Marty Turco we have... <laughs> That's a toss call game worn uh, homegrown jersey. I suppose, oh, it's out of 60. I suppose the only cool thing about it is uh, because it's Finnish, Finnish player, uh, the back is written in Finnish. I'm sure with grammatical errors, because I'm sure it just went through a little translator cycle, but yeah. That's a toss call jersey. Woo! Woo! It has a nice little chunky seam on it. <laughs> Urbe's verdict. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's all I can say, yeah. No. Okay, on to our next. Again, we'll clear out all the rest of the base cards except the one covering it on the front, and we'll see what we got. All right, with a Jimmy Howard. Oh, this goes this, this way. Oh, we have Tuka Rask, Stick Save Black. Tuka Rask, Stick Save Black, numbered out of 20. I think this one's a little bit of an improvement on Toscala. Still Finnish player, but uh, there's, there's a difference between the two, to say the least. Urbe's verdict. Oh yeah, we'll approve of a Tuka Rask for sure. All right, and on to the last one, which, yeah, I believe is a memorabilia as well. Clear out the other cards. Okay, we have a Chris Carozzi in the front, and we have, between the pipes, Edward Pascale. Oh wow, um, not the best name, but that's a pretty, 
Pretty sexy jersey piece. Wow, nice chunky seam right on the shoulderish area, maybe I'd guess. Three colors. It's only the black version as well, so it's not low numbered, but definitely a very nice, nice piece there. The former uh, Winnipeg Jets pick. Very cool. Um, unfortunately, though, Urbe's verdict. <clears throat> no, nah, we want to go for the better players. Pascal, eh, not exactly the best, but still, it's a nice, nice piece for for box one there. All right, that's the end of box number one. Let us move on to box number two. Well, that was fun. I look at that as the warm up for our next break. And of course, come on by tomorrow, we'll be breaking our ITG Ultimate 9th Edition box. Super high-end product. It is exciting to me. I don't often get a chance to break high-end stuff, but with our previous run of box breaks, we did so well, we made enough money where we could reinvest into all of what you've seen over the last three days, plus the ITG Ultimate there. All right, box number two. Okay, oh, it looks like we got an autograph right out of the way early here. Okay, we'll clear it down to the last base card. Okay, we got Ilya Brizgalov base and... Oh, oh. oh, okay, there we go. Greats of the game autograph. Dominic Hoshik. Huh. Well, that's definitely a hell of a start to our second box here. A Dominator autograph. Very cool. If I were to guess, it would be a short printed autograph as well. I mean, you know, you don't just insert... This is the same rate as like a... a James Reed autograph. That's that's a good start. Urbe's verdict. Oh yeah. Even though Urbe is a little bit bitter that uh, Hoshik and the Wings defeated him in the O2 Cup final and Hoshik is behind him in the uh, picture right there, <coughs> we'll still approve of a nice Dominator autograph. Well, that's a uh, that's a good start. Hopefully the box uh, continues and doesn't uh, water down the hits because we got a nice uh, autograph. Uh, that was an all base pack. Again, we're skipped by the all base packs. Um, They're not exciting anymore. I believe this one's a memorabilia. Uh, okay. As I do, memorabilia is always to the last because you know, I want to build up a little bit of suspense for both you and I. Uh, all base pack. All base packs are painful, but a great way to deter pack searchers. <clears throat> okay, next up we do have a hit. It is one of the masked men, I believe. Let's see what it is. Hidden behind a Garrett Zemlak, we have... Looks like a gold version again, not bad, numbered out of 10. Jean-Francois Berube, or Berube. Um, as a junior goalie, he did get in though with the uh, New York Islanders. And I believe also the Chicago Blackhawks, but I could be mistaken. So, he did make the NHL never a superstar, but still. Gold version, numbered out of 10. <clears throat> two boxes today, two gold versions, numbered out of 10 of the mask. I'll take it. Everybody's verdict. Yeah, again, is it the best player? No. Is it a cool goalie mask card, numbered out of 10? Bet. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Disapproval would have come with just the silver version of it, though, so... Just throwing that out there. I don't get impressed by everything. I just, I like this product. I'm heavily biased to favor it. Uh, that was an all-base pack. Moving on to the next. Oh, boy. Okay, well, this one's a memorabilia that's really jutting out. Like, the pack is practically opening on its own. So we'll save that for last. Um, odds are we'll probably just end up with, like, a similar kind of card as that Edward Pascal last time, where uh, it, uh... <clears throat> Probably just has a chunky seam, but it's just like a black version jersey, but you never know. The CHL Complete logo we got last time had a similar kind of thing. Uh, this was an all-base pack. <coughs> <laughs> uh, this one is rather comedic based on the comments I made on the last hit. Okay, behind an Edward Pascal, a uh, future star's base, <laughs> Jean-Francois Berube. Um, regular version of the Masked Men. So, in the same box, we got gold and regular. Her Herbe's verdict. I gotta make more comments. Comments are a good thing. Like, oh, I, I sure hope we don't get a one of one in this box. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> 
Okay, this one is an all base pack. Nice things about this year is he shoots, he saves points as well as they're, they feel slightly stronger than uh, previous years, meaning you uh, can actually use it for, for shipping. Um, okay, we have an insert in this one. Again, we'll <coughs> get rid of the other base cards in front of it. Cool. So behind the Corey Schneider we have Albany Mike, Mike Murphy. Yes. Um, AHL rookies of Mike Murphy. First goalie in NHL history to record a loss without ever giving up an NHL goal. And we actually have his NHL debut uh, jersey inside the museum. Um, and you'll know that jersey from his Young Guns rookie card. That's the same jersey, but he probably wore it for a few rookie tournaments as well because it had quite a bit of wear and some logo switches, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, next pack is all base cards. On to our last stack for box number two. Okay, we've got another mask card, I believe. Nice shiny in the back. Let's see whose it is. All right, in behind a Jonas Enroth, we have Chicago Cristobal Ue. Nice, nice mask. I like it. Um, Urbe's verdict. Really, eh, it's all right. He had a good, good career. Definitely ended off with a cup win there with, uh, <coughs> with Chicago, but there are better names to be had. There are definitely worse names to be had. So. Okay, next pack is, you guessed it, an all base pack. I'm making sure, of course, to check very thoroughly because uh, this was a year, like I mentioned before, where the uh, base cards had a tendency to stick. So, so far in this box, we got our one autograph, which was uh, Dominic Hoshik, and we ended up with, of course, uh, our few mass cards in there. All right, we got another insert in this. We will get to that shortly. Okay, greats of the game. Dan Bouchard, behind that is... Um, CHL rookies of Philippe Tremblay. Okay, Philippe Tremblay. Just an insert, we're not making any uh, special commentary on it. Urbe doesn't bother with just our regular inserts here. Okay, next up is, did you guess all base pack? Because you would have won a million dollars. Okay, okay. Okay, next pack is, oh, has an autograph. I don't know whose autograph it is just yet. We will free that up <clears throat> just like last time there. Cool. Okay, so behind a Josh Harding base card, which direction? Okay, future stars, it's always a gamble, of Daniel Larson, former, I believe, Red Wings uh, prospect. <clears throat> he never really made it to the show, I don't believe outside of preseason, but yeah, Daniel Larson. Irby's verdict. Nah. We uh, got a Hoshik already in this box, so Larson is a, a little bit of a drop down. Good, next pack is all these. And now uh, we move on to our hits. This one looks like we only have two, but they might be two good ones. Or not! That's part of the gamble <clears throat> with any hockey card. Okay, so behind is Jean-Sebastien Giguere we have. Oh, homegrown, but I'm guessing another one. Tim Thomas. Tim Thomas, numbered out of 60. Of course, because he's American, uh, the back of the card's written in English, unlike the last one we got of Toscala, which was in uh, Finnish. Okay. Um, Urbe's verdict? Eh, it's alright. I mean, just a regular jersey at the end of the day. Eh. But, let's move on. Again, see what I mean about how this card just cannot stay together? We're going to go crazy here. Okay. So, behind a Mike Murphy Future Stars card, we have, between the pipes, Jean-Sebastien Giguere, Game Use Jersey Silver. Okay, very nice chunky seam, clearly from a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. A um, little bit of edge imperfection, very, very common with in-the-game cards. Um, silvers, I don't know what it's numbered out of off the top of my head. I want to say 
30 is what they were typically out of in the Jersey world. Maybe 60, I don't know, I'll have to double check. <clears throat> Everybody's verdict. Eh, it's all right. Um, it's a nice card, he's a good goalie. Um, well, frankly, if it weren't for the Dominic Hoshik, um, this box probably would have been a, a miss, a rare miss. And of course, at the end, come back, we'll be doing a uh, brief recap. Moving on to box number three. No mega hits yet, not like our last load. Like I said, the Hoshik autograph is nice. Two masked men out of ten. The gold ones are also nice, but <clears throat> we seek so much more. Okay. okay. First pack, we got an insert. No, no huge hit, just a regular insert. Uh, behind the Matthew Corbe Terrio, we got tribute. QMJH all days of Marty Broder. Well, young Marty Broder, it's funny. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we were all kids once. <laughs> okay, next pack is all base. Definitely end up with a few base sets out of these uh, last few breaks here. Um, yeah. Okay, got an autograph. Let's see who it is. We'll Clear it up. Again, it's stuck to the card in front of it, unfortunately. They are sticky. Okay. So behind a James Reed Future Stars card we have. Which direction? Which direction? Um, oh, okay, there we go. Future Stars of Peter DeSalvo. Peter DeSalvo. Herbase verdict. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Peter DeSalvo, no. Sorry to say, it does not get the approval. And the next pack is all base. Next pack is, we have a Masked Men, I believe in this one, has a nice little shininess on it. Okay. Right, but let's see who is behind the shiny. So, with a Scott Steitzer, Future Stars, behind it we have, oh, Ron Hextel. Yeah. Ron Hextall, Masked Men. Just regular, would be nice, a gold version, but still. Nice card. Urbase verdict. Yeah, I'll approve. Ron Hextall, I rather like. Very heated goalie. Some people didn't like him because of his attitude, but frankly, he was a competitor who really got into the game. And that's what you want on your team. Sometimes, though, you know, the hot headedness gets in the way and uh, costs you penalty minutes, but you know what? That's a competitor. <clears throat> that was an all base pack. Mm. Okay, we're actually just an autograph card in here. Okay, hidden behind a Kevin Poulin Future Stars card we have. What direction is it? Oh, okay, okay. Future Stars of Troy Passingham. Ooh. Ooh, Troy Passingham, okay. <laughs> Herbie's verdict. No. But because we have weak autographs so far, I'm confident that our memorabilia cards will be uh, sufficiently making up for it like they usually do. Okay, all base pack. This is a memorabilia card, another very chunky one, but if you remember what happens with the chunky ones, they just seem to be regular jersey cards, so it's not, <clears throat> not that exciting yet. Yet. Can still potentially be something cool. Um, oh, base pack. I'm having a lot of fun. I love this product so much. All right. Okay, we have an insert we <clears throat> we haven't gotten yet until now. Yaroslav Halak base card, and behind it we have gold medal masks of Yevgeny Nabokov. Definitely the odds aren't one per box, because we've opened so far five boxes in the last week, and uh, it's the first of this we got, so I'm guessing maybe two per case would be my guess, I don't know. Still, nice card. Everybody still won't grade it though, it's still just a, an unnumbered uh, insert. Herbay bobblehead of judgment. Okay, next pack is, you guessed it, all base. Okay, what is this? I believe this is a memorabilia. Ok, 
Okay, and we have, that's right, an all base pack. And next up, we looks like we got another Masked Men. Oh, nice and shiny. Let's see what's behind door number two. Drew, uh, sorry, <laughs> Drew Owsley. Behind it we have, ah, Brian Hayward. Yeah, <laughs> that mask is recognizable anywhere. Brian Hayward. Urbe's verdict? Yeah. When it comes to a card about masked men with good masks, Hayward is a legend in the world of game-worn masks. The shark mask is an all-time classic. Okay, on to the next. You are guessing correctly. All base pack. Okay, looks like we got an autograph. So we have Jean-Sebastien Giguere base and... Oh, okay, future stars of... Is it Toivonen? Yeah, Hanu Toivonen. So, he's a future star card here, even though already by this point he had two seasons uh, <clears throat> played with Boston, 0506, 0607, I believe 0708, he was also with uh, St. Louis, and then, uh, yeah, that was about it. He did get briefly recalled with Chicago, but never played with them. So yeah, Hanu Toivonen. Uh, I like the goalie, but Urbe's verdict? Nah, still can be a lot better names, definitely can be worse pulled. But <clears throat> Frankly, uh, yeah, it's... Hasn't been the best autographs in this box. Hopefully the memorabilia makes up for it. All base pack, and let's get down to memorabilia. Free it up. Okay, we have behind a Michael Odette, Dustin Tokarski, game used number silver. Tokarski was a, briefly a hero for Montreal. I believe he's in the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins system right now. I think this card is numbered out of three, I wanna say. So it's it's all right. He has a little following based on what he did there, but um, Herbie's verdict? Eh, it's all right. It's a lower numbered card. It's a patch. Not the primest or most prime name you can you can get. <clears throat> okay, next up. Okay, we have future stars of John Curry, and we have oops, gold version. Homegrown Marc Andre Fleury. Oh, now we're talking. Gold version, one of one, Marc-Andre Fleury. Our second one of one ever came from this product and it was a Marc-Andre Fleury and guess what? We got another Marc-Andre Fleury and I know there's a flurry of collectors who will be after this card. One of one, Marc-Andre Fleury. Lovely. Urbe's verdict? Hell yeah, Urbe approves. <clears throat> one of one I will always approve of. You get it of a good player, now you're talking even more. So we've got a patch and a one of one in this box. So pretty much the rule of thumb is if you got uh, weak autographs, you're gonna get a uh, good bunch of hits. All right. I love between the pipes. I love 09010. Oh, sorry, 0910. Let's get on to our last box. <laughs> Fantastic. One of one, Marc Andre Fleury. Very end of a break, of course, we will be doing a recap. <clears throat> All right, first pack we have an insert. Seems to be a pattern that's following. Uh, behind it, Jacob Markstrom, Future Stars. We have Net Brawlers, Olaf Kolzig versus Byron Defoe. Goalie fights are the best. Unfortunately, the NHL made rules which punish goalies even harder and the team even harder for them fighting. So, uh, yeah, taking away some of the traditional elements of the, the game's physicality, but whatever, it's the future, I guess. Um, all base pack. All right, got an autograph in this one. Behind a Mike McKenna, we have, what direction do you go? Future Stars autograph of, uh, Peter Delmas, almost had a feeling I'll end up with him. Peter Delmas autograph. Urbe's verdict? Yeah, no. <laughs> much, much better names to be had. At least he's a kind of familiar name, at least from that time period. He did make a little bit of a name for himself, but uh, beyond that, not too much. Um, all base pack? 
one of one Marc Andre Fleury. Yeah? I still am fixated on that because that is pretty, pretty cool. Okie dokie. We've got another Masked Man, nice shiny card, clear up the base kit. Behind Mika Kippersoft, stars of the game, we have. Matt Hackett, I believe we got him in a previous box uh, from the last week there. Matt Hackett, Urbase Verdict. Nah. Better names, better hits to be had. Let's keep going. Oh, next one is an all base pack. <laughs> next one has an autograph by the looks of it. Okay. Free up the base from it, perfect. So behind a Johan Backlund Future Stars, we have, oh, this way, Future Stars Goldie Graph of Garrett Zemlak. Oh boy, Garrett Zemlak, I am so excited. <laughs> Urbase Verdict, no. But again, hopefully the trend follows where if you end up with Sucky autographs, you end up with a good hit at the very end. Okay, all base pack. Yep, sorry, that is a memorabilia. See the congratulations, congratulations message? I didn't see what the actual card was, so that one's still a mystery to me. All base pack. I can't tell with some of these. Some are a little bit more difficult for than others. Um, no, this one's not. Okay. All right, just a regular insert in here. We'll skip through that too. We're hovering on borrowed time now. Uh, Brandon Anderson, CHL rookies. Brandon Anderson. Up at 40 minutes. That's pretty pretty long. Okay. Next up is an all base pack. Next up is, I believe, a memorabilia, just slightly thicker than the decoy. Next up should be good, all right. Next up is an old base pack. Okay, we have another Masked Men card. Behind a Calvin Pickard, we have, oh, Joe Gretone again. So we got him and Matt Hackett, I believe, in the same box last week there. So interesting. Uh, Urbe's verdict. Jean Breton has one of the legendary masks in NHL history, so I'll definitely uh, give the nod of approval on that. Okay, next pack is an all base pack. <clears throat> next pack. Looks like we got another autograph. Okay, behind a Tori Jung we have, which, okay, future stars of Tyler Wyman played one game in the NHL. I believe it was in 07-08. Urbe's verdict? Nah. While I don't personally have any negative feelings to the goalie, he didn't really amount to anything, so I can't approve of the hit. And all base pack, all right. So, ending off our Between the Pipes, and very likely the last load of this I'll ever find for such a price, we move on. So, behind a Tyler Buns, Future Stars, we have, oh, what is this? Ryan Miller, Glove Save. Nice glove card, numbered one of 30. Very nice card, all the stitching and everything, it's pretty cool. Urbe's verdict. Yeah, Urbe will approve. I, this is what I love about 0910 between the pipes compared to any other year. They just overloaded it. I remember they were talking at that time that they went through a lot of their memorabilia, which is why they kind of slowed down the hits for the next year. There. We have a Joe Fallon Future Stars, and behind that, oh, who the hell? Is it? Oh, Turco. Homegrown Canada Silver, Marty Turco, numbered. Oh, it's a short print. Or sorry, the silver version, numbered one of nine. So it's still not a common card. It's numbered out of nine. Yeah. Didn't end the strongest. Should have ended off with that uh, with that flurry, but Urbe's verdict. Yeah, it's all right. It's a fairly low numbered card. All right, we're gonna do a quick recap of all of our major hits here. All right, so starting off with the masked men, we ended up with a 
Peter Menino gold version out of 10, and a Jean-Francois Berubi number out of 10. In the world of autographs, generally your common stock, we end up with Tyler Wyman, Garrett Zemlak, Peter Delmas, Troy Passingham, Peter DeSalvo, James Reed, Daniel Larson, Hanu Toivonen, Greats of the Game Auto of Brian Hayward, and of course of the Dominator, Dominic Hoshek. So that was a good way to go with the autographs there. Then in the world of Game Worn jerseys and memorabilia, we ended up with. Okay, we ended up with a Vesa Toscala homegrown jersey. We ended up with a Tim Thomas homegrown jersey. A game used jersey black of Edward Pascal. A game used jersey silver of Jean Sebastien Giguet. A game used number silver of Dustin Tokarski. A homegrown silver numbered out of 9 of Marty Turco. A glove save out of 30 of Ryan Miller. A stick save of Tukert Rask numbered out of 20. And of course, the Piste de Resistance, homegrown jersey gold, one of one, Marc Andre Fleury. So, Urbe's verdict in our four boxes, yeah, it's good. We've got a one of one, we've got a nice short print auto, and we've got a few decent memorabilia cards. Um, I don't think on the whole it was as strong as our previous two breaks, but uh, still, it's quite nice. I thank you for coming on by and watching me break open four boxes of Between the Pipes. Until next time, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.